so it's almost spring, I think. When does spring start? Spring begins March 20th, 2017. Nice, so March 20th, we're still on time. It's almost spring, so you know what that means. Lots of bright colors, lots of florals, cute patterns, all that fun stuff. So today I have a DIY spring decor video and I'm super excited for you guys to see it because here's the thing. Between you and I, I love DIYs, I love getting crafty, but I'm not very good at them and I feel like I mess up so often. So these are super easy to recreate and they're really hard to mess up. I'm so happy with how they all turned out. They're so cute and I can't wait for you guys to see them. So if you're crafty like me, but you're not that great at DIYs, you're gonna love these, I promise. Before I get started, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Also, if you enjoy DIYs and you wanna see more on my channel, make sure to hit the like button down below. But I'm really excited for you guys to see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first DIY we're making is this super cute watermelon welcome mat. I'm so obsessed with it and I feel like it goes well into summer. So all you're gonna need is a cheap utility mat. This one was $5 at Target some spray paint in a red or pink color and then white black green acrylic paint and some painters tape so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my utility mat and I'm shaping it into the watermelon shape so if you can find a circle rug and then just cut it in half that would be ideal or even a semicircle and you already have it like in the shape you need it to be but this one was super cheap and I didn't want to spend too much so this is what I did I traced the shape on one side folded it over and then traced the shape on the other side just so so it would be even and then I cut it away and I had my semicircle rug then I just cut away any excess like any weird corners or anything just to make sure it was the perfect shape okay so for the fun part I don't know why you guys I love spray painting things so I'm first gonna protect my area I wasn't able to do this outside so I need to protect my floors I use some plastic trash bags and then I'm just going in with my spray paint anything that looks close to like watermelon color pink or red will do and then just spray paint everything until it looks very pink like mine next up we need to work on our rind for our watermelon i think that's what the green part is called right and so i'm going in with my painter's tape and i'm leaving about an inch and a half space on the outer edge of my mat and that's going to be the rind so i'm grabbing the green acrylic paint on a sponge brush i think this is called and then i'm just dabbing it right into that area that we taped off until it looks nice and green once you've let it dry you can go ahead and peel that tape off i think i forgot to mention that you need to wait for the spray paint to dry before you go in with the green but then i'm going back in with the same tape so it's the same shape and i taped it about half an inch away from that green just to leave space for the white and then I'm using another sponge to dab my white acrylic paint to make the white part of the rind. And I'm gonna work on the seeds. So I cut out this seed shape on a blank piece of paper and then I'm stamping my black acrylic paint into that little stencil that we made just to make seeds. And then I made kind of a U shape you can see what I'm doing here until it looked like watermelon seeds. And that's basically it for the welcome mat. It's so cute and it adds the perfect pop of color. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute anthropology-esque vase. And all you're gonna need is a clear vase, some silver metallic spray paint, and then some metallic acrylic paint. I have some in a dark gray color and a rose gold color. And then you're gonna need a sponge and a brush and then fake flowers or fresh flowers, whichever you prefer. So first of all, I'm pouring my dark gray acrylic paint into a paper plate and I'm using this stamper. I don't know what this is called. This is just a round like sponge and I'm making circle shapes all around the bottom part of my vase and then basically I'm just gonna keep stamping in alternating patterns if that makes sense so basically in between the dots in the first row and then I'm just gonna do that all around the entire vase so just keep stamping your dots in an alternating pattern until you have dots all around your vase So once you've stamped your entire vase, you're gonna go in with the rose gold paint and then you're gonna need a firm brush. You can even use an old toothbrush and you're gonna splatter this paint everywhere. This was super fun to do, you guys. I figured out a few techniques, like with your finger, you can kind of tap it on the side, do whatever works just to get a nice splatter all around the vase. 
So once that acrylic paint is dry, we're gonna go in with the spray paint and make sure to protect your working area. Go in with the metallic silver spray paint and make sure the entire inside of your base is painted. Literally the easiest thing on the planet. You don't have to spend $40 in anthropology for something similar, but then I just added some flowers. You can do fresh if you want. Those would probably be better, not gonna lie. But this feels so much like spring. So my last DIY is this watercolor cushion, which I actually love. So you're gonna need watercolors, fabric medium, paint brushes, and then a cushion, and ideally cushion covers so you can actually paint on. But I couldn't find any, so I had to make do. You're gonna fill up two glasses with water, and then you're gonna add your fabric medium to one of the glasses. So I did one part fabric medium to two parts water, and then you're gonna wet one of your brushes and you're gonna start painting. So the way I made my pattern is I made kind of circles and then I made sure all the similar colors stayed together. So all the blues in one corner and then those transition into purple and then green on one side which transitioned into yellow and then pink on the other side of purple if that makes sense. I'm sure you guys will get it by watching. And by the way, I left all this footage in because it's actually super pleasing to watch. So enjoy. <laughs> So once our design is complete, we're going to go over it with the fabric medium water mixture and what this is going to do is it's going to make the watercolors permanent on the fabric and this is actually mind blowing to me because it really works and it also makes the colors blend well together so it's super cool and then at the end you get to see how well it looks and then you're going to want to do it on both sides obviously and it does leak through so you might want to protect your work surface but then you're going to want to hang it and let it dry overnight and then pop it in the dryer for about 30 minutes because the heat is going to seal in the color but once you're cover is dry you're basically done and you guys I've never done any watercolor thing ever and now I feel like I want to dye everything I own watercolors so basically you need to try this hello again so that is it for my spring DIY decor video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave me a thumbs up down below so I can make more DIY videos also in the comments let me know which of these three was your favorite and if you plan on recreating any of them, you need to send me pictures. So all of my social medias are at Uodu. Make sure you follow me on there and tag me in any of your pictures. I'm so excited to see your recreations. Also in the comments below, let's talk about our favorite seasons. I think my favorite season is for sure spring. Maybe it's my second favorite. I'm not sure, but what's yours? I want to know. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you bunches. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.